and Acumatica VAR. Today we are going to walk through Acumatica's CRM features. They aren't quite as nice as the features of a Maserati, but unlike a Maserati, Acumatica will be putting dollars into your pocket instead of taking them out. Let me, from a high level, explain how powerful this tool is. Acumatica provides a seamless ERP and CRM solution that works together for a single source of truth so that everyone on your team is on the same page and there are no gaps when passing your leads from marketing to sales to account management. Now, for anyone who thinks that sounds like an amazing tool, let's get started on showing you how this works. On this first screen here, we have our CRM flow dashboard, which shows Acumatica's workflow for a typical sales cycle. Everything is seamlessly connected from the moment you get your lead, whether it's from your Outlook plugin, a mobile app, from an import, or if you have a form set up on your website to link data directly into Acumatica. Today, we will follow the scenario where we capture a lead in Outlook, look at where that lead shows up in our dashboards, assign that lead to a salesperson, view how tasks and activities relate to that lead, then create an opportunity from that lead. Create a quote on our opportunity and then convert that quote to a project. We'll start out with opening Outlook. I open my inbox and I've got some leads here. From this first email, when I open the Acumatica plugin, already a lead in the system because of the options I see below. But what if I'm working with a brand new lead that isn't in the database yet? Acumatica still searches the system, but since this email was not found in the system, we see that I have different options. So let's create click lead here in Outlook, and it will autofill what information can be pulled from the email. And I'll add his title. And we can check if this account is already in the system. From searching the few free characters, we can see that it's not in there yet. So we'll just take the company name and account, put it in the account name, and then we'll click a create lead. And then immediately this information saves and we can see that we have similar options as the previous lead that was already in there. I want to make sure that this email attaches to this new lead, so I'll hit log activity. The subject is automatically taken from the email subject in case I wanted to change it, but we'll just leave it and hit create. Now that I've done everything I need to in Outlook, let's jump back to Acumatica. So this CRM flow dashboard is one of many that Acumatica offers. Show how Acumatica represents the data flowing through your sales pipeline. Acumatica dashboards are designed for all kinds of different roles and can be updated and customized to the exact data you wanna see. I've got a whole module of dashboards here on the right. You can see dashboards from all different modules and all different roles, but we'll focus on a couple of the CRM ones. So on our marketing dashboard, we can see where our leads and opportunities are coming from, our lead and opportunity conversion rates, and our newest leads and opportunities. All of these metrics can be updated to whatever graphics makes the most sense to your team, and you can define these KPI colors to what makes the most sense for your business, as well as add or remove what data to, to display entirely. Since we just created our lead, Mr. Scott, we know that we'll show, he'll show up here in this tile, which we can see when we drill down. But let's move through a couple more dashboards. On our sales operations dashboard, we have our lead and opportunities shown by salesperson and status. Some KPR, KPI cards based on activities and close date. At the top, we have our unassigned leads and opportunities. Since assignment maps have not been set up, I know that Michael will want to be one of the leads in this list. All 
our sales manager dashboard is a bit more focused towards the end of that funnel, looking at account management as we see this key customer growth, total sales by salesperson, opportunities that have already been closed, and quotas versus current sales. The last page we will look at is the salesperson dashboard, which in our current scenario is this user's role. So we have assigned accounts past due AR, our opportunity pipeline by status, info on our closed opportunities up at the top, open opportunities on the bottom left, and top left, we have our leads. Since we don't have Michael assigned to this user, we're actually going to jump back to our CRM flow so we can see our full list of leads. So we can see here, Michael Scott, our new lead. We'll want to fill in some kind of description here as this will flow into our, op our opportunity as we'll see in a minute. So if we go back to Outlook, we'll see business offering solution. Okay, well, we'll put a note in here that says interested in service contract. And then we'll fill in this owner, Maxwell Baker, that's me. And then I just want to point out this source. I left it in there as referral because we'll say that that was a referral from our business conference. But you can utilize that however you see fit. Next, I want to point out our activities. This is where the email has attached to our lead from Outlook. And there's also a list of other activities that we can attach. These activities will be available in several different places among our CRM records. Next, I want to point out our action prompt. This is the suggested workflow from Acumatica to initially open the lead. Maybe this is a lead that came in from the website and we want to indicate that the lead has been reviewed and will be followed up on. If we open this more menu, then we can see that we have qualify and accept. Qualified means qualified by marketing. And then after we hit qualify, it will suggest us to accept, which will mean accepted by sales. In this example, we'll, we will say that we already moved through those steps and maybe your business use case doesn't need all those steps. You can always come to this menu to move to a certain status. But from here, we'll convert this lead to an opportunity by clicking convert to opportunity. This is going to create a business account, contact and opportunity. And we can see the description has flowed into the subject of the opportunity and the information from the lead has populated into the contact, as well as that account name being the business account name. Here, we'll assign the account ID to the business. You can always set up auto numbering and the system will create one for you. And again, we see this action prompt. <clears throat> From here, I wanna point out are different stages. This is where we would indicate the likelihood of an opportunity closing. And these depend on your class ID, which you'll set up during configuration. They're just a way to segment your data and group types of opportunities together. They're also where you will set up your stages and indicate the likelihood of the opportunity closing based on the stage. And again, we have our activities tab within our opportunity and our similar menu. Here, I wanna demonstrate creating a task. So we've made this opportunity 
and I'm the owner of it, but maybe I want to have someone else follow up on this. Let's say Pam would be a better person. And I can assign a start and due date based on whatever is appropriate. And we can see that the related entity is already filled in with this opportunity. From here, we'll create a quote, and we want to create a project quote. Here, we can select from our project templates, and we'll select service project. We can even select our project manager. And these are places where we can add inventory to the estimate. Our project tasks come in populated from our project template. And again, we have this activities that will attach directly to our quote, which needs to be saved before we can create activities against it. Let's say we've added everything that we need to. We'll submit this quote. And from here, we'll have some sort of approval process. Since I'm signed in as an admin, I'm able to approve this, but maybe I'll set up some approval mapping to where the person above them, the sales manager, will approve a salesperson's quote before they submit it to the customer. And then from here, we're able to convert to project, except we get this error. One thing we have to remember is project, projects can't be created against business accounts. They have to be created against customers. So whenever we want, want a quote, we want to make sure that before we co convert to project, we extend this account as a customer. Then after we do that, we're able to convert to project. And here we can note all of the different things that we're able to pull in from the project note, from the project quote. And we can decide whether or not to activate the project or activate any of the tasks. And now you've seen how we can take a lead from Outlook pull it into Acumatica and move that lead from a lead to an opportunity, to a quote, to a project. As you can see, we're able to take a lead from Outlook, move that lead all the way through the sales funnel, out the other end, to a customer with a brand new project saved to it. You can see the seamless integration of your CRM solution flowing directly into your ERP. Acumatica CRM creates a 360 degree view by utilizing activity and task management for every step in the sales process. And you can view performance through dashboards and KPIs to ensure success from lead capture to account conversion.